And what I'm able to do is this, and suddenly I have this, this design, right? Um, so what I love is the second people put on here, I start getting a lot more locations that I can grab that are connected to the person's body, much like it means, right? Does that make sense? Right? So the first thing that I want to do today is I'm going to practice, this is a little situational. I like to use it, um, but it very much illustrates what I want to be looking at, all right? So in judo, there's just one of the drills you do a thousand times is just something called a judo pulse, all right? And it's because it, it basically is the pull that you do on almost any throw that I'm going to take the person this way, all right? So they will drill it over and over again. And all the judo pull is is they take this sleeve, they take this collar, and I'm going to step, and I'm going to pull up. And they, they'll talk about, like, I'm checking my watch. I want to look at my hand like I'm watching my watch, right? But the big idea behind this is I want to get him up and forward, all right? This makes it much easier for when I back step to be able to lift him, right? And he's up and forward on top of me, all right? That's why yesterday I know I talked to a lot of you about stretching out with the throw. Because a lot of people have a tendency to want to do this and go down, right? It's not what we want to do. I'm just planting them on here, all right? But this idea of a judo throw, or a judo pull, right, is what I really want people to start learning because that's what I want to do with you, all right? I can do this from either side, all right? If I have a hook on this shield, oh, I got it in tight, I can go up, right, to get that motion. Anything I have a hook on, I can play that motion. What we're going to do today, uh, first, so it really illustrates it, it's a fun move. I do it anytime someone has a one-handed or two-handed axe that I can fight. Um, and generally, in generally open field, you can manipulate it on the rail, but generally open field, okay? Uh, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna practice our judo pull. I like to tell everyone, if you're holding an ax and I'm holding the ax, I now have a sleeve grip. You can either give me the sleeve grip or you can give me your ax, right? But it's up to you. So I will do my throws as though I have his sleeve right here, all right? Now the important part, I have to keep my chest up. I have to make sure that I'm not going so far that I would fall over. This is a very effective way to attack, all right? So for this, I want people to start, I just want you to learn this pull. I'm gonna open myself up like this, and I'm gonna pull high, all right? And that little jerk forward is all we're looking for, all right? All right? Once you kind of feel that, we're going to use this pull to use our Asotagari and Tayatoshi that we learned yesterday. All right? Remember, Asotagari yesterday, I had my hand here and I practiced going to pull them out, right? So now I've got sleeve grip here, all right? If I want to double up on forcing him to lose his weapon and not just the throw, now that I have a good grip, Instead of staying here, I'm going to switch to here, all right? What this allows me to do, or here, this is the other option. This allows me to do is get a very good grip that is difficult for him to fight against. It's all based on the fact that I have his weapon, all right? Now, we'll finish this as double as Minnesota guard, all right? So what I'm gonna do is pull. We got this big pull out to the side, and then I go, ah. At this point, he only has two choices once I lock it in. He keeps a hold of his axe and he falls over, or he lets go of it, and now I have his axe, he's gotta do something about it. All right? We can do this exact same thing. That was a soda guard, right? We already had the soda guard, boom, back step, and I was hitting like this. Just change to right here, boom. Now we go here. Back step, and I'm pushing. All right? We can do the exact same thing with Tayatoshi, all right? Taitoshi, remember, was, I went here, 
All right? Now I just do the same thing. I've got this grip, very strong grip. I will go here as well. Either one works. I'm going to go here for right now because it shows the better. Now I go, bah. All right? He steps over my leg there because I'm going easy. But I'm forcing a position where if he wants to hold on to his ass, I have strong control of his entire body. If he wants to let go of it, I'm fine with that too. Right? In practice, it's been about 50-50, maybe 60-40 that they let go of their ass. 40, they hold on to it until too late and then fall over. All right? So many people are like, I will not let you have my ass. Like, because we all play the game, right? We're going to get his ass out of his hand. People are all like, I got hands of steel. I've been fighting for this for the last two years. And they will hold on to it and let you throw the shit out of them before they realize they should have let go. All right? So this is what I want to break apart and do. We're going to start with this pull. This is all I want in the beginning. So get it, baby. Do five, 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 and five. All right? So do 10 times total. I want him here, and I just want big pull up. I want you to step out, and I want my hand to come basically to eye level. All right? Boom. That pull. Boom. Once you feel comfortable with that, now we're going to step pull, but I'm going to do it a little bit instead of this big step back. I'm just going to turn my hips through, pull, and I sit here. All right? Any questions before you go try it, and then obviously you'll have questions. Uh, yes? Is a grappling arm or both legal IMCF mandate should be? Yes, as long as you're not purposely removing so, uh, it. There's, there's been a change of that. That is no, not that, the rules. That's, that's the words, as long as you're not purposely trying to remove it. Yeah, the guy... There's the a definition of what that, that is. That's not what the meaning of the rule is, and so it's ridiculous. Yeah. The definition of what's removing is the debate. <laughs> you can't grab an axe. So much house we can grab the blade. So you still can't grab a blade like that. Blade for, for what? IMCF, yes. HB, no. If, if it is your falchion, you can grab your blade and IMCF. You can't an HB. If it is your falchion, I can never grab a blade. Right? I can only grab your hand. <coughs> All right. I'm just not being allowed to grab the. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. You can't grab it, but you can. Yeah. 